Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorial series in quantum statistics. This is video number eight, and multiplicity rule number four, where the previous video was rule number three. Now, to be honest, there is not much difference, if at all any, between rule number four and rule number three. However, I'm just going to approach it in a different way. Just perhaps it might make it easier for you to, to look at it. So let's say, just, just to recap, where we had A, B, C, D, we had a multiplicity of n factorial. When we had A, A, C, D, we had a multiplicity of n factorial divided by 2 factorial divided by 1 factorial divided by 1 factorial. And when we have 3 A's on a D, the multiplicity was equal to n factorial divided by 3 factorial divided by 1 factorial. Alright, so now what happens if we have, this is, like I said, it's the same thing, I'm just going to do it in a different way. We go from A, B, C, D, and I want to end up with double A, double C, so you have two species, each of which has two identical particles. So, once again, I did my table, and this, I suppose, is to prove the rule that, or, well, this isn't really proving it either, I suppose, really, but just to satisfy ourselves with the rule that we saw in the previous. So we know there are 24 n factorial maximum number of ways, so I did that, and then I cross out all the duplicates. If you want, you can pause the video. Note that each of which, each of the, uh, each of the species has two identical particles, so we know at some stage we must divide by at least 2 factorial. So I'm going to suggest that as a first guess, the multiplicity should be 12. Okay, so let's suggest because we know that where there's a pair, you must divide by 2 factorial. So n factorial divided by 2 factorial is equal to 12. First guess. However, I'm telling you from that, that table, the multiplicity is actually equal to 6, not 12. So we went from 6 to 12, so there's, there's another factor of 2, or another factor of 2 factorial. So the point here is, this is just another way of looking at it. So the general rule is that the multiplicity is equal to n factorial divided by multiplication over s of n sub s factorial. Okay, so if, oh, if that doesn't make sense, I'd suggest you look at rule number three. I went into a lot more detail. But I, what I really wanted to show you in this video is the table, just to convince ourselves that in actual fact what we're saying is correct. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And if you're in a good mood, please click on an ad.